All right. All right. So, hello everybody. My name is Vadim Bauer. I'm one of the maintainers of Project Harbor. So, if you don't know it, Project Harbor is a container registry with a pretty few advanced uh, features. And today, I'm going to talk about how to dynamically proxy Helm charts as OCI artifacts, what it is in detail, and why it makes sense for you to adopt as well. Uh, but before we go into the details, there is one important thing that you should take away from the next four minutes, is um, that, uh, what should you take away? Um, <laughs> no, so you should take away that OCI, all the things is very important. And why it's important? Because it's easier than you think, right? It's you can use it also for your own internal artifacts very efficiently and easily. And I'm going to demonstrate it with our proxy for Helm charts. So, what is the problem? You know, and as you maybe know already, Helm supports two types of um, artifact transport mechanisms. So one is a traditional way, and since version 3.8 or whatever, it also supports OCI artifacts. And the problem here is that most of the public OCI artifacts that you find on the internet are in the traditional format. But the majority of the registries is in OCI format, and a lot of people adopting OCI formats for inside their organization, and they have developed workflows for that. And so we have a clash here, and it would be very nice if we could adopt it to, uh, you know, to use OCI everywhere. And can we solve the problem? Yes, we can, right? So currently, people do it by just, um, you know, manually fetching artifacts and then converting them and pushing them to registry, but you can do it also using it dynamically. And this is what we built. This is the architecture, very simplified. So we have the OCI proxy in the center. On the left side, we're talking to the traditional um, artifact transport mechanism, you know, like you find on the internet. And on the right side, we have the OCI format that we provide. And this you can use then for directly, you know, to address directly each artifact as an OCI artifact. Or you can combine it with Scopio or Harbor and then replicate all those artifacts as OCI into your own registry, which is very convenient if you're in the AirGap environment or the, on the edge environment. And from the user perspective, it's very neat because for in the case of Helm, you just address every chart as an OCI chart, and this is like how you specify it, you know. In the first part, this is the URL of your of your proxy, yeah? And the second part is the the URL of the chart that you want to proxy from. Well, in this case, it's JetStack. And in the third one, we addressed the artifacts that we want to proxy. In this case, it's cert certainty, um, cert manager. And in the last parameter, we specify the version. And this way, you can address a classical artifact or traditional artifact in, as an OCI. And so, and this way, we can basically dynamically proxy all artifacts to our, um, to our own registry or for our new use case, right? And we have made the, the project public, so you can use it and, and, uh, and use it as a starting point for own your own, own, own endeavor, or you can use it as is for, you know, proxying your inside your organization. This is the QR code, and this is the link. If you just Google for Helm chart OCI proxy, you will find it. And the takeaway from all this effort is basically two things. First, OCI is becoming the de facto standard for arti artifacts, right? And the same what, what S3 became for objects or for, for files, this is going to be happen for OCI as well. And so you can you can adapt it yourself. You can build proxies for your own artifacts that reside in your organization that may be whatever. And it's not very difficult, right? It's very easy to, to, to implement something like this. You can use our project as a starting point. You can also use um, Project Oras as a starting point, which is also a very powerful tool that you can use for, for this. And yeah, you can you can build up on it. That's uh, it for my side. Please use the project and contribute or yeah comment. If you want to talk to myself afterwards, if you have a question, you can find me at the booth, at the Harbor booth. Um, it's I think it's like in the community P2. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>